The Fallout TV show is an incredibly faithful adaptation, but its one major lore change is actually for the better. There are not a lot of ghouls in the Fallout TV series, but through the life of Cooper Howard, aka the ghoul played by Walden Goggins, fans are given an in-depth look at the life of one of the most dangerous ghouls in the wasteland. Like most things in Fallout, ghouls are a result of nuclear radiation that comes from the bombs being dropped during the Great War. One of the ways that people can become ghouls is slowly over time with small doses of radiation. This results in a ghoul that looks more like the ghoul from Fallout or other ghouls from the games who still look more like a person rather than a decaying corpse. The other way that the games have people turn into ghouls is people who are relatively close to a nuclear explosion or at ground zero of a huge radiation event. This creates some of the most decaying looking ghouls, much like Lucy's mother in the finale of Fallout. One of the biggest downsides of being a ghoul, besides the radiation, the decaying features, and being hated by society, is the chance to become feral. Feral ghouls are extremely dangerous and can lead to death for anyone wandering the wasteland. In the games, what makes a ghoul feral is ambiguous. Isolation and anti-social behaviors make ghouls far more susceptible to becoming feral, but the games lack a concrete reason beyond that. The fact that many ghouls cannot stop the progression of becoming feral means they are all essentially ticking time bombs. This also makes the changes that Prime Video's Fallout made even more interesting and important. The big change that Fallout makes is that the ghouls can actually stop the process of becoming feral. Cooper Howard's The Ghoul is shown continually taking an inhalant that seems to revitalize him. When he finds a huge stash of this drug at the Super Drug Mart, he becomes elated, knowing it will help him survive for a very long time. The ghoul has stayed alive for over 200 years, likely one of the longest surviving ghouls in the wasteland, and he has lived a long time in isolation. By taking his medicine, the ghoul has maintained his mental well-being and has become a huge threat to Vault-Tec. He continues to search for his family in Season 2.